Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. Yes, you heard that right. I have left Hugging Face a few days ago and I'm now working with RC.ai. So as you can imagine, there's a ton of content coming your way on open source models, small language models, cloud stuff. Yes, still a fair chunk of AWS, no worries there. And uh, obviously I will show you how you can use RC Cloud and RC SDKs and RC models and data sets uh, to build enterprise AI solutions with small open source models and get very high quality models, very cost effective models and secure models that you can host on your infrastructure of choice. So tons of stuff coming your way, uh, but I couldn't wait to do a first video. And in fact, yesterday RC released a new model called Scribe. Um, which is based on InternLM, and um, it's actually a merge of InternLM with additional fine tuning on top. And this has state of the art performance uh, on creative writing, which is a topic I'm quite interested in for obvious reasons. So I thought, hey, let's show you this model. Uh, so we'll start from the model on Hugging Face. And for a change, I'm not going to use any cloud services, I will download the model and uh, will run some local inference on my Mac with Llama CPP. And uh, you'll see how fast that goes. Okay, pretty cool demo. Let's get started. Before we dive into the demo, here's the blog post that my colleague Lucas actually published yesterday on RC Scribe. I will, of course, put the link in the video description. And uh, well, I would encourage you to go and read this. Uh, it has a, some really, really impressive examples and uh, some benchmarks on how well the model is doing, right? So go check it out, um, good place to start. And once you've done that, then of course, you should head out to the Hugging Face Hub. And I think I've seen this before. And particularly, um, of course, go to the organization page for RC, okay? Yeah, that's me here. And that's where you will find, uh, obviously, learning resources, papers, uh, and models, spaces, and data sets that RC is publishing uh, to help the community and to help enterprise users build cool stuff, right? And well, we can see just uh, a day ago, not even a day ago, uh, Scribe was published. Okay, so there's the uh, there's the scribe model, okay? And again, you can see some, some information there. Model page, as we, as we know it. Uh, we can see this is a, let's say, 7.7 .7 billion parameter model. It's actually based on the intern LM2 model, which we have here, right? And intern LM has a ton of good models. Uh, so I would encourage you to go and check that stuff out as well. Um, and uh, Scribe is available as your good old PyTorch model. So feel free to go and use that uh, if you'd like. But me, I'm going to go directly with the uh, GGUF versions, right? Uh, because I'm going to run uh, those versions directly on my machine with Llama CPP, okay? Um, and of course, you could grab the, uh, the existing model and run... Um, the GGUF uh, conversion on them. And of course, you could run the conversion process on, on the base model if you wanted. But you can just save time, I guess, and, and grab one of those uh, one of those GGUF models. Okay, so there's the, the full precision model, right? We have quite a few here. And we have a bunch of quantized versions. So why don't we start with the 8-bit version, okay? So all you need to do here is just, you don't need to clone the repo with those all those big files. You can just download the file directly from here, right? Uh, which I've done, and you can grab a, a few more. I've actually grabbed a 4-bit model as well, just to see if this was faster, better, <laughs> worse. <laughs> we'll run both, okay? So go and download that stuff. I've done it already. And now we can switch to a terminal, okay? So I've got my models right there, okay? Uh, and we can see 
yeah, the 8-bit version is about 7.7 7, uh, gigs, as you would expect, and, uh, and the 4-bit is uh, about half, right? A little more than half. Okay, so Llama CPP is already installed here. Uh, it's super, super straightforward, so I really won't cover the installation steps. I just ran the, uh, the vanilla instructions uh, available in their GitHub repo, and it works. Uh, if you're a Mac user, uh, you can also install um, Llama CPP directly with uh, Homebrew, if that's your thing. But here I uh, just cloned the repo and compiled it. Okay. All right. So why don't we go and run something now? To test the model, I have a first prompt, uh, which goes something like this. Please write a marketing speech for a new SaaS AI platform called RC Cloud. We'll send this speech by email to business and technical decision makers. So make it sound exciting and convincing. The contact email is sales at RCAI. That's the real one. Uh, feel free to use emojis as appropriate. RC Cloud makes it simple for enterprise users to tailor open source small language models to their own domain knowledge in order to build high quality, cost effective, and secure solutions. Okay, so just a basic prompt to get things going. And let's see how the model does. And at the top, you see the, uh, the usage, right, on my machine. Okay, so let's just run this thing. Here it is. We'll start with the 8-bit version. And here it goes. Okay, so we see GPU usage shooting up at the top. And uh, we'll start seeing generation in just a second once the model has been loaded. And off it goes. And you can see how stunningly fast this is, right? Uh, so, well done Llama CPP and well done uh, Apple, right? The M3 hardware is pretty good, I have to say. It's expensive, but it is pretty good. And so here's our generated email, okay? So, you know, it's got emojis for sure. And um, I'll leave it on screen so that you can, you can read it. But it looks actually, you know, it looks quite good, you know, and it's certainly better than some of those marketing emails I'm getting day in, day out from random companies, right? And with a little bit of prompting, of course, you can, you can tweak this in any way you like, right? So um, now we're already seeing that, you know, this, this is an interesting model, just a basic prompt uh, is, uh, is turning out this... Um, this pretty good email and I'm running it locally, right? So, well, outside of the laptop cost, you would say cost is zero, right? Um, so no, no ML ops, no deployment, no nothing, just run it and you can run it all day and uh, um, just like that, honestly, or, uh, or of course have a, a local inference server and plug that into a, a proper web app, but that's, that's pretty amazing. So. Um, that's why I'm so excited about small language models because of, because of the quality that you get from a 7 billion parameter model and the fact that I can run it that fast on my local machine without, without any fuss. Okay, so now I'm asking, uh, write a fictional technical discussion between Alice, a senior MLE working at a Fortune 500 company in the telco industry, and Bob an RCAI pre-sales engineer. And I, I don't think we have anybody called Bob, but maybe we should. And uh, well, Alice is trying to figure out if the RC Cloud is a good fit to help her build a customer support chatbot to offload their existing call centers. And Bob should, of course, focus on understanding the customer pain points and see how RC can help answer them. And Bob should explain how continuous pre-training, model merging, and instruction fine-tuning should help Alice tailor her models on company and customer data with a high level of accuracy, okay? All right, so yeah, let's see how we can do this. Okay, well, still pretty fast. And we start seeing that conversation, right? And maybe I'll just put that in the, uh, in the video description as well, just, just so you know, <laughs> if you don't wanna run it yourself. So yeah, pretty interesting conversation, right? It's pretty cool. 
certainly you would want to tweak this, but as a baseline, you know, I think it's, I think it's more than fine, right? Uh, and let's follow up. Um, um, All right, let's try this. Why? Why not? Yeah, it is pretty cool. So I'm not sure all of it is actually true because the model doesn't know much. Uh, I, I didn't tell it much about RC Cloud, but um, it is uh, it is definitely a, a solid conversation. Oh, scalability, interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's set up a demo. Or let's quickly try um, that 4-bit model. Right, let's try this. Okay, so this is even smaller. It would run on an even smaller accelerator and it well, it looks even faster to me, really, right? Uh, and, you know, it might generate a slightly different story, uh, but that's not bad, right? Let's uh, let's run this. Uh, let's run this um, technical discussion again, right? Uh, it's still doing a good job. So, I mean, even though it's got, you know, only four bit parameters, um, it's, it's, you know, faster and still pretty good, right? So... You need to experiment um, and, and find the, the right size for, for this. So that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you. And uh, if you've been wondering why people keep getting excited about small language models, SLMs, it's exactly that. It's taking um, a really good uh, open source model and, uh, and focusing it on a particular task. Here, it's creative writing and you could further specialize it for sure. And then um, those are already small models. So if you want to work with a full precision model, you can do that on the you know, mid-range GPU. But as you can see, if you quantize those models to 8-bit or 4-bit, um, you keep shrinking them and you can start running them uh, on you know, local machines. Um, and I guess this would still run on, on CPU as well, right? Um, so that's, that's uh, super exciting to me. I think this is... Uh, this is really game changing. Um, the combination of high quality open source models, the ability to make them better, make them more knowledgeable about your particular domain, and then you know, shrink them, quantize them, run them on very little infrastructure, and do that in a very simple, repeatable way. And, uh, and that's pretty much what RC is building. So go check out our website, go check out our platform. Uh, ask for a demo, sign up, uh, read the docs, ask me, you know, that's what I'm here for. Uh, and again, that's really what I wanted to show you today. There's going to be a million more things coming. Uh, and so very excited about RC. And until next time, my friends, you know what you need to do. You need to keep rocking.